Who knew you could take a boring schloppen feather and turn it into something completely different? Montana Fly Company's done just that. In this new product spotlight video, we're covering Montana Fly Company's new modeled schloppen. This stuff is incredible. <laughs> By any standards, Montana Fly Company is having a hell of a year. In some of my previous videos, you've seen some of the other stuff that Montana Fly Company's put out. Uh, let's just be honest, this is, they are doing some different stuff. I need to clean my desk. Ugh. When I first heard about modeled slopping, I, I thought, okay, they probably dyed it and then like bleached it. Well, you know, that, that made sense to me. That made total sense to me and I thought, oh, that's a pretty cool idea. But no, that is not how they did this. I, I don't know. I don't know how they did this. It lo literally looks like splatter paint, but just wow. Wow. The Montana Fly Company slopping comes in about 15 different colors. Uh, I have, I have some repeats here because there's some that I really, really liked. But some of the colors they come in are chartreuse mottled black. You'll see this one later in a fly. So, so good. Tan mottled brown. Tan mottled black. Black with mottled yellow. You want to talk about contrasting colors. This and the chartreuse? Come on. Oh. Olive modeled black, white modeled olive, and there's and there's many more colors. This is just what I've got here right now. Yeah, this stuff is different. It's like nothing you've ever seen. I mean, first of all, second of all, third of all, I don't know where we are. <laughs> but can we give Montana Fly Company massive props on their 100% biodegradable packaging? Like. Good work, guys. So basically what they have done. Is they've taken schloppen feathers and made them ready to go straight out of the package. There's no really prep involved. I've got tons of packs of schloppen here. I thought that was a spider. <laughs> Still kind of wondering it wasn't it was a feather so this is your typical everyday slopping feather that comes straight plucked off the bird it is what it is this is your ready to go straight out of the package montana fly company model slopping i can't believe i said that like just blah, blah, blah. it is ready to go like it's bare stem ready to tie in right this second if you want a slopping tail that long it's ready to tie in you don't have to do anything. So typically you're, you're like peeling off this fuzz and stuff. This is basically how I would tie it in. But the modeled slopping comes ready to go. Like everything's stripped, everything's cut. You're ready to go straight out of the package. If you want a shorter tail, you can always strip it off and, and just go with a, a shorter tail if you want to. You're not only bound by using the length they give you. You can strip it off, make it shorter if you need to, whatever you need to do. So some of the different uses for this is obviously tails. When I think of a double deceiver tail, a regular deceiver tail, any kind of kick tail, any kind of tail that you just tie in straight off the back of the hook and you have the tail. Their golden ticket is that kind of tail. This is this is where these will shine and do, yeah, really, really well. So let's jump over to the vise and show you one of the ways to make a kick tail that I really, really like. Okay, for this straight up deceiver, I've got a number one B10S in the vise. First, we're gonna start with the modeled schloppen. This is chartreuse modeled black. And like we talked about, they already have a perfect tie-in point for you. 
ready to go. If you use loose wraps to tie this in, it won't have a tendency to spin around the hook on you quite as bad. And on the other side. Next, we're gonna tie in some Senyo Super Satin Polar Chenille. But again, we did a video on this, I'll link it in the description. Next, we're going with our lighter color of bucktail, tying in on each side. Work them around the shank just a little bit. Now we're going with chartreuse on top. So another way to use the modeled schloppen is to palmer it, like wrap it up a hook, like you would a woolly bugger or the, just all sorts of different things. Think of all these gallop flies. And remember, I'm doing the break the rules thing and we're starting like really, really soon with this video. The video is coming out soon. So you're probably gonna see some of this stuff in these old school gallop patterns. If I had a mic, I have a mic, but I can't drop it if that see it right there, but I can't drop it. It's on a it's on a arm thing. At first, I was a little skeptical about palmering this. I thought it would completely lose its contrasting colors, the you know, the modeled look to it. But I think honestly, completely opposite of that is what happened. It it splays those fibers apart and I think it makes it even more modeled looking. I like that a lot. I, I think I may like that as much or more than the tail, the the modeled tail. I don't know, I, I just, this stuff is fun, it's cool. It's like nothing you've ever seen before. So let's jump over to the vise again and tie this crazy outer space woolly bugger <laughs> that is super fun that I'm gonna end up catching the hell out of smallmouth on this summer. I'm 100% sure. Yeah. So for this woolly bugger variant, I've got a size two. That was loud. I've got a size two, four X long, two X strong, just standard woolly bugger hook in the vise. For the tail, I'm gonna use MFC's fine barred marabou. This is white barred gray. Next, I'm going to tie in a modeled schloppen feather. This is white modeled olive. Next, I'm going to tie in Senyo Super Satin Chenille from Montana Fly Company. We did a video on this just a little while ago if you want some more info on this. Really cool stuff. Matte finish. Love it. Always, always strip off the material until you get to the cord. That way you have a clean tie-in point. And next, I'm gonna tie in the Montana Fly Company bulb chain eyes. These are black and 3.2 millimeter. And we're going with four. Just trust me here. We're gonna tie them in in the middle. When we get to the eyes, we're gonna tie it off, but we're not gonna cut it. Leave this here. Now Palmer are slopping forward. We're gonna figure eight the chenille around the eyes. And 
open with finish. And you have the Space Invader Wooly Bugger. <laughs> I just came up with that name. I have no idea, but yeah. So if you haven't used this stuff, I highly recommend grabbing a pack or two for those specific flies that you just really want to stand out that are totally different than anybody else's flies. You really can't stand out any more than that. So thanks for sticking around to the end of the Montana Fly Company modeled slopping video. This stuff is so cool. It really, really is. Now we're going to give away the flies from the previous video. The random comment generator thing picked Andrew Cherry. Andrew, I, I have to be honest, I didn't know what a danger muffin was. <laughs> and was a little scared to type that into Google. But then I was like, oh, okay, I get it. So I'm going to send you one of those crab patterns that I tied. How about that? For your chance to win the flies in this video, like this video, comment on this video, subscribe to my channel, and and subscribe. It's free. There's there's no questions asked, nothing involved. All it does is let you know when I have done a new video. Looking for something that's not free that has some extra perks? There's a link in the description and the comments of this video that'll take you to where you can join my channel. You get sneak peeks at videos that are getting ready to come out before anyone else. I play off of channel members. You know, I'll ask different questions at different times and, and stuff like that. We have this, hopefully we, we have this community type of thing starting to build. No pressure. Just check it out.